Please pay homage to the Buddha. Namo dasa bhagavado arahado sama sambhogdhasa Namo dasa bhagavado arahado sama sambhogdhasa Namo dasa bhagavado arahado sama sambhogdhasa now, this question, is there any way to improve or polish the wisdom faculty or wisdom energy? If you want to improve your wisdom energy, what you should do first? First, you must try to purify your body. At least five precepts are necessary. You must always observe five precepts and try to purify this sila. If you are a ten preceptor or a bhikkhu, then you must always try to purify your ten precepts. Body mokha restraint if you begin a bhikkhu. Hmm? So these are necessary because with the purification of body, if you practice concentration, samatha, it is impossible to improve. Based on purification of body, you must practice samatha meditation. But in this case, if you want to improve your Western energy, one type of body mokha, samra, sila, restraint, law is not enough. You must also try to purify your faculties in the samra, sila. You must gut your faculties through which any defilement not to visit to your mind. This is very important. How you show gut? We had already explained. You must always put your mind into your meditation object. While practicing the matter, you must always keep your mind into the samatha meditation object. You must always focus on your samatha meditation object. If you are practicing vipassana, you must contemplate nature or dukkha or another characteristic of those formation. This is in real samvara sila. This sila also necessary. Then purification of livelihood, purification of when using for requisites, you must always reflect picha vakana. Hmm? So purification of four types of bhaju is necessary. Then what you should do? Samadhim bhikkhu bhavita, samasito bhikkhu bhikkhu yata buddha pajanadi. Bhikkhus develop concentration. A bhikkhu who has concentrated may understand the dhammas as they really are. What does he understand as it really is? He understands according to reality, this is the noble truth of suffering. He understands according to reality, this is the noble truth of the origin of suffering. He understands according to reality, this is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. He understands according to reality, this is the noble truth of the Pride is leading to the cessation of suffering. In this way, Buddha teaches a Samadhi Sutta of Sitya Sanyota. Because of this reason, if you want to improve your Western energy, secondly, you should try to develop your concentration. 
There are bodies of mental meditation subjects to improve your concentration. You can choose anyone. If you had already practiced, especially up to fourth jhana stage, that fourth jhana will produce a true powerful light, which is called the light of wisdom. With the delight, such day of the light of wisdom, if you practice four elements of meditation systematically, you can see Adhimi materiality, Adhimi mentality, and they are causes. In this case, no, it is except our Theravada Buddhism. There is no teacher who can teach to analyze and see Paramatha Adhimi materiality. There is no teacher who can teach for realization of this Adhimi materiality. Our body is composed of subatomic particles called calabas. These calabas are not Adhimi materiality. If you can analyze each calabas, in each calabas there are Eight types of materiality, or nine types of materiality, or ten types of materiality, etc. Again, if you classify these calabas, there are four types of materiality. So, are gamma bomb materiality, so are mind bomb materiality. So a temperature bomb materiality, so a nutrient bomb materiality. There is no teacher who can teach how to analyze this materiality for realization of ultimate materiality. If a meditator understands this ultimate materiality by his or her own direct knowledge, such type of understanding is very high, very powerful wisdom energy. Is it true? Yes, this is very high powerful wisdom energy. So to improve such type of very high powerful wisdom energy, first you must try to purify your body. Secondly, you should have enough concentration, especially jhana concentration. But it is not enough. Based on jhana concentration, you must practice four elements meditation, systematically. And that the only you will understand ultimate materiality. Again, if you want to design ultimate mentality, then you must first try to design the object of that materiality. Secondly, you should design the base or the door of the materiality. For example, if you want to design endo-mental process mental mentality, then you must design first endo in mental. Secondly, you should design the color. A group of subatomic color. When color impinge, impinges both doors simultaneously at the day, endomental process will arise one after another. In each main moment, there are different types of mentalities, chaita, and chaita in some my moment, there are 11 types of mentality and materiality. 11 types of mentality. In some my moment, there are 34 types of mentality, etc. In this way, you can understand. Is there any teacher who can teach like that? Eh? Except our Theravada Buddhism. Within one my moment, there are 34 mental patterns. They rise successfully for seven times. Or like Jana, my moment, they rise successfully for many times. Who can teach like that? So if a meditator penetrates such type of mentality, 
can we say his wisdom energy is very high and very powerful. So this is very high powerful wisdom energy. Again, there is again no virtue. Past causes produce present effect. Present causes will produce future effects. This is the understanding of the divine origination. Many religions, they do not teach such type of divine origination. They teach creator and created beings only. There was, there is creator in Hinduism, creator is Mahabrahma. Christian creator is God. In Islam, creator is Hoda or Anna. But in our Buddha's teaching, there is no creator. Only the karma and results only. Which type of karma? In one of past lives, you had already accumulated ignorance, craving, clinging, foolishness, formations, and karma potency. Because of these five causes, five aggregates in this very life appear. Again, because of the present five causes, in future five aggregates will appear again. Such type of understanding is understanding of the dependent origination for what order. If you meditate again, see this dependent origination by his or her own direct knowledge. Such type of wisdom faculty also very high powerful wisdom energy. No teacher can teach such type of deep proper dhamma. Only our Buddha can teach such type of deep and proper dhamma. So such type of wisdom faculty also begin very powerful wisdom energy. Again, our Buddha also teaches, because of the complete cessation of five causes, five aggregates will cease completely without remainder. When it will cease, it will cease one day if a meditator began or had. Because of the power of Arham path, five causes, ignorance, craving, clinging, holy general formations and combat will cease completely without remainder. Because of the complete cessation of five causes, five aggregates, at the final stage on the death of Arha will cease completely without remainder. Now it is there is no teacher who can teach such type of sensation, except our Buddha. So if you meditate and penetrate such type of complete sensation, which is the negative order of divine origination, such type of wisdom faculty also very high and powerful wisdom energy. If you want to improve such type of wisdom energy, you must practice such a medically. According to Buddha's instruction, vipassana meditation. So this such type of vipassana insight also very strong and powerful wisdom energy. One day, if you practice vipassana such a medically, you may realize nibbana. This is a supramundane noble truth of the cessation of suffering. There, there was no, there is no religious teacher who can teach this Nibbana except our Buddha. If a meditator penetrates such a type of Nibbana, then such type of wisdom faculty which penetrates the Nibbana, is it? Very high and powerful wisdom energy. This is also very high and powerful wisdom energy. No one can teach such type of noble truth. 
ยิงกันเสร็จทีนี้อันนั้นเองที่ไม่ออฟอาร์ฮะคุณบิลิตี้บิวรีไฟน์ซึ่งถ้าคุณอยากดูบิวรีไฟน์คุณต้องมาที่
If you touch your dead circuit, you, you cannot feel any painful feeling. In the same way, when the tangible object of the breath impinges on the body translucency, at the day when body translucency is very weak, then meditator cannot feel the breath thoroughly. This is another reason. So, what will it be for me not to, what is the main fundamental cause for me not to feel the breath? You should investigate by yourself. Then, if mindfulness and discerning is very weak, then please increase mindfulness and discerning. But when the body translucency is very weak, it is impossible to increase, to make increase the, to make the body translucency increase by yourself. It depends on karma because body translucency is one type of karma for materiality. If you disample element on your nostril or on your upper lip, you can see different types of clubbers, especially there are also six types of clubbers, body decay clubber, set decay clubber, life non clubber, mind bone clubber, temperature bone clubber, nutrient mind bone clubber, all together six types of clubber. Among those six types, body translucency, body decay clubber is the dent materiality of body translucency is the dent materiality of body decay club. So when that body translucency is a little bit weak, at that time you may not feel clearly the impingement of your tangible objects of your breath. Because of this reason, for some meditators, it is not clear. When body translucency becomes very weak, maybe the based on karma. Karma cannot produce properly enough body translucency or body decay club. There may be less quantity on that area. This is also another possibility. But at that time, how you should do? So here, question. You should re-establish your concentration again. Especially if you had already added fourth jhana, please re-establish this fourth jhana for about maybe if it is necessary for about one hour, two hours, etc. When concentration is very, very deep and the light of wisdom is very, very bright, and then, then go back to bright days, four limits, meditation. Then you may feel, uh, and then, then you go back to, sorry, sorry, <laughs> maybe step over again. Hmm? You should increase your mindfulness. When your mindfulness is very strong, then you may feel partially. Also increase your discerning. How you should increase your attention, please emphasize on that area only, with subtle and powerful mindfulness. And then, then you may feel a little bit. But according to this question, for some meditators, the change sensation of the breath on the nose or upper lip is not clear. And then, then they can also emphasize if they only know the breath. It is also not. If you understand you are breathing, it is also not. So on that breath of the only you should focus. But when focusing on that breath of the, you should not be addition, you are addition anywhere. You must be addition between the nose and upper lip area only. At the day, when your mindfulness improves, then you will see the breath. 
But if it is not okay, okay, then you should change meditation subject. Maybe, for example, four elements meditation, etc. Then from four elements meditation to descent that you do bus of body, then four color casinos and then other color other casinos. After bright descent, then casino and then if you go back to Anabana, it is also very easy. You, you can easily feel the because you have enough concentration at that time. So at that time, please re-establish your fourth jhana concentration. Imagine from fourth jhana concentration, you should practice anapana again at that time. Then you may feel your breath very clearly, and eh? you may be able to concentrate on your breath object very, very quickly. Within one second, you can see Nimeda clearly, and eh? you can add the jhana. So in this way also, usually some meditators practice. So you can choose anyway. If a Mahayana nun wishes to become a Theravada nun, is it necessary for her to relinquish her Mahayana nun's precepts? We do not understand well about Mahayana Bhikkhuni's precepts. So according to their own desire, they can do. We don't want to criticize Mahayana ideas because we are brothers and sisters in our Buddha's dispensation. We should have enough compassion to each other. We should have enough understanding to each other. It depends on their own desire. If they want to relinquish, okay. If they don't want to relinquish, okay for me. Because if they undertake templates as a Theravada Sali, it is better. But if they touch money, this is not good. Whether they are Bhikkhuni or Theravada Sali. Because this is the money or gold and silver is the dirtiness of easy ascetics. So any ascetic in ancient times, they do not touch money. Our body is that in every person, like when becoming an ascetic or when becoming a bhikkhu, he never touch money. So that money is the dandiness of purification of bhaju. Go into Mandaka Sikhabhata. If money is a low level for a big then sensual enjoyment also a low level for a big if sensual enjoyment is a low level for a big group, then money also a low level for a big group. So Buddha condemns money like sensual enjoyment. If you are enjoying sensual pleasures while practicing samatha and vipassana, it is not easy for you to be successful. Because of this reason, Buddha never prays to touch money. If they do not touch money, if they undertake temporary precepts, obediently, it is okay, no problem. Then there's a question. After coming into contact with Pa'au Sangha, I have learned meditation from several Pa'au uh, meditation teachers and learn the meditation. And I know that in the Pa'au tradition, the Sangha member keep their precepts well. This is remarkable. And the teachers, the meditation teachers, give very systematic teaching and explanation. And my knowledge about the Buddha's teaching slowly improved. Now, I face a problem. 
when I meet, I face Sangha from other tradition, my mind arise, uh, the thought of discriminating mind arise. I have conceit and pride towards them. I will think, is this teacher practicing the right way? Am I going to support this teaching? In those days, I have a very simple way of supporting, but now my mind changed towards them. Now I ask Seado, how should I apply my wise attention to overcome my problem? When I face Sangha member, I wish to have a healthy attitude. To pay attention to the bodily action, bubble action. Just emphasize only as a Sangha. It is good. In that thing that we bring up, so the Buddha says, we are Buddhism decline day by day. There will be only bhikkhus who take yellow clothes in their neck. They will take human clothes. They will do human work. They will enjoy sensual pleasures. They will marry. They will, they will have many, many children. <laughs> Other than also, if you think as a Sangha, if you offer any donation, such type of donation also matchless, uncountable benefits you can gain in this way about the teachers in the kingdom we have got so that. So if you cannot be a decent as a Sangha, if you have a lot of discrimination, this is problem. As a Buddha Jana, ordinary big group, not noble one, there may be many problems. So we should not be a decision, this is Buddha Jana, or this is Sodabana, or this is Kadagami, or this is Nagami, or this is Arha. As a Sangha, only you should be a decision. You should recognize as a Sangha only. What is the meaning of Sangha? Jiti Sila Samyena. All Sanghas have right view. Sama Jiti. All Sanghas have same Sila purification of Pajo. Udujana Sila. Ariya, Sila, may be different, but all are same. Same means they must practice this Vinaya, Sila. So the Bana also must practice according to Vinaya, Sila. The Gadagami, Nagami, Ra also must practice according to Vinaya, Sila. Sila is same. But practicing attitude only may be different. Deity Every noble one penetrates for noble truth. So they have Sama Deity right view. What is Sama Deity? In Mahasri Prana Sutta, Buddha teaches, Buddha is Sama Deity. Dukhi Jnana, Dukha Sumuriya Jnana, Dukha Nirodhi Jnana, Dukha Nirodha Gamini Yabri Braya Jnana. Buddha. Right understanding of the noble truth of suffering. Right understanding of the noble truth of the origin of suffering. Right understanding of the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. Right understanding of the noble truth of the path leading to the cessation of suffering. Every noble one has these four types of samadhi right view. In the same way, an ordinary bhikkhu, Buddhajana bhikkhu, if he had such a view, it is okay. So, 
wrong view uh, right view uh, right at uh, the right view uh, sila they have seen because of this reason they are called such group of members are called sangha if you can be in this as a sangha you want to need will be will result good result will produce good result But if you have this mind, this mind will be very difficult. You cannot accumulate wholesome karma in a proper way. You are emphasizing only their behavior. You should not emphasize their behavior. You should emphasize only the quality of Sangha only. So this is important. If you had a lot of discrimination between Theravada and Mahayana or between Theravada because to each other or between Theravada sales to each other, then such type of dis- discrimination will produce a lot of hope and demand. Because of this reason, don't be addition such type of discrimination. In our Commentary, there is one story, Mahathira. He always got his faculties. Through six toes, and it, he did not permit to come eh, to visit to his mind through six toes and it fell me. Always got. He stayed in one cave. On the ceiling of that cave, there are seven Buddha's history mentioned on the renowned Dawa on the last light for the Ademi of self enlightened Buddha who he never see such blessings. He stayed there for more than 30 years. He never be a like that. One day, many young beggars visit to him to be respect to him. And then, they, oh, ma. one day, his pictures are very beautiful. They impound to him. Oh, I stay here for about 30 years. I never see this such beautiful pictures, whether they are very good or not very good. He never see. On the Near the door of his cave, there is one Naga tree. Whether this Naga tree is blooming or full of leaves, he never tried to see his tree. When the leaves are falling on the ground, at the day he is trying to sweat. At the day only he understands oh, there is blooming. Flowers are blooming. Because flowers Flowers are falling down on the ground. At that time, only he noticed how oh, flowers are blooming. He never tried to see like that. One day, King and Queen want to pay respect to that Mahathira. They invite Mahathira. He don't want to go to there. Because of this reason, they do another indirect way. In that village, where he was going for arms round. No children, any mother must not give milk to their children, as long as Mahathira did not visit to our village. In this way, the king gave the order to that village. At the day, because of compassion on children, Mahathira visited to village. When he visited to village, Can you offer something? At that time, Venerable says, Oh, Suki, what do Maharaja? We also offer something to Mahathira. At that time, also, he says, Suki, what do Maharaja? Everybody offer to him any day. In the same way, he says, Suki, what do Maharaja? Then some people ask, Pandey, they are no Maharaja, can 
they are queen, they are maybe ministers, etc. I don't know whether this is king or queen or minister. I don't know. I, I have no distinguished discriminating mind. I think only as a donor only, as a devotee only. Because of this, everybody offer anything, he say, Sukhi Hodu Maharaja only. Is it good? Very good. If you have discriminating mind, there are many problems. Why such and such people cannot cut his eye? Why such and such people cannot get his eye, her eye, etc. You may have a lot of discrimination. The such type of investigating mind is not good. You are accumulating a host of karma on. So please do not use discriminating mind. It is better. Now it is. Most majority of bhikkhus are put to jana. Waddling beings, when they are called Putu Jana. Putu Kile Se Jane Didi Putu Jano. This is the meaning. They produce many defilements, so they are called Putu Jana. <laughs> this is the meaning. So every Putu Jana produces many defilements. So if you discriminate, if you investigate a lot, then you, will, you are accumulating many unwholesome phantoms. Is it true? Yes, don't pay attention to anybody, whether they are good or bad, no problem. Your responsibility is, you should get your faculties through these faculties, not to arise any development. This is your responsibility. Oh, that's the next question. Uh, Sarah say one must penetrate ultimate mentality and ultimate materiality and their causes in order to be a sotapan. And based on the example of Anatta Pindika, when he was about to pass away, he listened to Venerable Sariputta's teaching. He surprisingly he said he has never heard such a profound Dhamma. And yet at the time at that time Anatta Pindika was already sotapan. And how come he had never practiced the Dhamma taught by Venerable Sariputta and yet he became sotapan? He had already understood ultimate materiality, ultimate mentality, this is the noble truth of suffering. He had already understood the dependent origination, this is the noble truth of the origin of suffering. He had already understood the noble truth of cessation of safari nirodha sita. This is the noble truth of cessation of safari. He had already understood the noble the practice leading to the cessation of safari. This is the mega sita. He had already been in hate the poor noble truth. It is true. But after began, when, one day he visited to Raja Kaha. Because of Swandeva's help, he had opportunity to see Buddha in the Sita Vana forest. Sita Vana forest is close to a cemetery. He, he had opportunity to, to listen to Dhamma from the Buddha. At that time, he had already begun Sada Pana. The meaning is he had already penetrated the follower truth at that time. But he had the intention to do donation. His enjoyment is donation. Because of this reason, he invited to the Buddha and to go to Saudi. He already, already received from the Buddha, Buddha's permission. So he to, he tried to donate Jeda Wana Mona Sri. After donating Jeda Wana Mona Sri to the Buddha and Sangha, he did many responsibilities. 
he had a lot loving kindness and compassion to the Buddha. Buddha's body is very gentle, very subtle. We should not give many troubles to our Buddha. This is his attitude. Because if we give a lot of troubles, such as asking many questions, he will begin tired. This is not suitable for us. This is his perception. 